Hey guys, Wild Kyle here. I am back in the creek where I did my last bottle hunting video. That'll be linked in the description below. But we're here again to give it another shot. I'm gonna walk some sections of the creek that I have not walked yet, and I think there may be some really cool old stuff in these other sections as well. So we're just gonna get to walk in. It's a beautiful day. Wish me luck, guys. Let's get to it. Last time I came to this creek, I walked down this way, downstream. And uh, today I wanna go upstream, so I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go through that absolutely horrifying tunnel. Wish me luck. Spiders galore. No turning back now. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to turn my light on because I know if I turn my light on, I'm going to see giant spiders everywhere. So I'm just not even going to do it. I'm just going to go through. Oh my god, there's a creature. Huh. I'm just going to go through as fast as possible. Yes. Sweet freedom. Oh my god. A spoon, anyone? It says US on it. That's actually a kind of cool spoon. I wonder if that could be fairly old. US. Huh. Really weird. Well, I guess I'm glad I walked through the tunnel of doom. There's bottles everywhere on this side. Modern. Modern jar. It's a little soda maybe right there. Modern. Modern as well. A ton of modern stuff over here, but... Maybe if we get to walk and there'll be some older stuff somewhere. So I went to go grab this piece of dugong bone that was right here on the ground and then right there I saw a bottle and it's something embossed. Oh, I feel the tip of it. Ooh, and it's not broken. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a Pepsi. What? That's a weird Pepsi. That's really cool. I wonder what the age of that one is. Maybe like 50s, 60s, 70s Pepsi? Something like that. That's pretty cool. Heck yeah, I'm happy with that. Very nice. And looking right here, there <laughs> is a pocket knife. That's a little spooky out here in the middle of the creek. But it's kind of cool. I'll hold on to that as a find. Why not? Still probably works, maybe. Look at that, right next to where I just picked up that pocket knife. There's old busted straight side soda right there. Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Gainesville, Florida. Ah oh, man, that would have been a cool complete bottle. Check it out, not only bottles. Shark teeth out here. Nice little fossil lemon shark tooth. Look at, and there's bone right here next to it too. Some fossil bone there. That's fo Oh look, another shark tooth. Another little shark tooth right there. Man, we bottle hunting and fossil hunting today. Check this out. Gorgeous little waterfall right in the clay. That is a really cool thing right there. And it dug out a giant hole right there. Look at that. That's crazy. I never see spots that deep in these creeks. That's wild. I keep walking this way and hopefully find some bottles. Came up on a little creepy shack in the woods. <laughs> That's where the Sasquatch lives, y'all. The Sasquatch. There's a Coke right there. See on the bottom something Wichita, Kansas. Wichita, Kansas. That's really cool. That's really awesome. Oh, there's a date right there. 58 and a 25. I can't remember which one is the date. I'm going to have to double check on that. That's pretty cool though. Nice complete Coke bottle. Heck yeah. Super happy with that. So I found that old Pepsi on the side and that Coke. Both are very, very cool bottles, but I wanna keep walking. I don't have a whole lot of time yet. It's gonna be dark fairly soon, but I'm gonna walk back through the, uh, yeah, that scary tunnel, go to the other side and see if I can find anything else. Ooh, here we go again. Well, it's just a little, it's a little bit ridiculous how easily I probably could have just walked down the road, but this is more fun. I think. I don't know. This is more fun. This is horrifying. What am I? What am I? Telling myself. Oh gosh. So close. Yes. Sweet freedom. My goodness. All right. We made it. It's starting to get a little bit dark on me, as y'all can see. But that Coke and Pepsi were definitely daymakers for me. But maybe we can find some other cool stuff before it gets dark really quick. Hopefully. Okay. I see right here part of a milk bottle. Man, that would have been really cool. Complete. There's actually some embossing on it. Five cents. Oh man, that would've been way cool if that was complete. Ah, still cool to see though. Five cent milk bottle. 
Oh man, I see a straight side coke right there. Please don't be broken. Please, no! Man, straight side coke all busted up. That's still cool. A lot of y'all said in the comments to keep these broken ones and cut them to make a little thing to hold stuff. So I'm going to keep some of these old broken ones too. Why not? Still pretty cool bottle. That's some old blue stuff and I saw some embossing on it. Spring Water Company, NY, New York. Are you kidding me? An old spring water bottle would have been awesome. Man, that sucks that that's busted up. That's, that would have been a really cool bottle. Look, that's a weird shape, too. Oh, man. Here's a funky little bottle. It's got some embossing, and it says... E.R. Durkee and Co. <laughs> New York. What? <laughs> what is what is E.R. Durkee? <laughs> that's really cool. If any of y'all know in the comments, let me know. So I pulled out my phone and did a little bit of research real quick while I'm standing here in the creek, and this was a type of salad dressing, actually. So they did mustards and salad dressing and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. What a fantastic thing to see in a creek. A toilet. Wonderful. Check this out, guys. The creek is right there, and I noticed a bunch of glass up on the side, so I walked up here. And look at that. This is a little 7-Up right there with embossed glass on it. That's a pretty cool bottle. 7-Up. Dispose of properly. Well, that obviously didn't happen here. Um, but there's like a ton of other stuff laying around. I mean, this seems like pretty modern stuff. Wait, why does that say 1818 on it? That's neat. It says, Pure... Oh, it's a Smirnoff. That's interesting. Huh. I know it's definitely not 1818. That must have been when they started. But uh, it's a cool bottle. Liquor bottle. Huh. Looks like a, it's a Coke right there, busted at the top, Coca-Cola. That's cool. It's the clear glass, not the blue, which is unusual, definitely. You see more of the blue than the clear. Look at this. It's just madness up here, the amount of bottles up on the bank. Unfortunately, it's not as old as I would like. It's old liquor. Definitely not as old as I would like, but that 7-Up bottle was really cool. That Coke would have been really cool if it hadn't been busted. But goodness gracious, how in the world? You can probably hear it clinging all around my feet like, what? That is solid, solid glass. What's that right there? Oh, it's another one of those Pepsis. Just like I found way down the creek. What? Oh man, that's cool. Heck yeah, two of those today. I will take it. I will definitely take it. Very nice. All right, a little dump up here is fun, but it's not super old stuff, and I gotta make sure I get out of here before dark, so I'm gonna walk back down to the creek. All right, guys, I made it back to my vehicle. As you can see, it's uh, getting real dark out there. It got real dark, but I found some really cool stuff, so we'll get everything laid out later and show you all the cool finds. Alright guys, here are the bottles from today's video and creek walk. Starting over here, I got a couple of these really cool Pepsis that are not terribly old, but I still really like them. I think they're very cool. Um, they're about 60s or 70s or so. So I was pretty excited to find two of them. One of them has a little bit of a damage on the lip on there which is fine though it's just a little bit luckily and I got this 7 up which is very very cool right there I'm guessing around the same age for that it was found right along with one of those Pepsis but that was pretty cool to see I'm, I'm happy with that bottle right there as well and I got this coca-cola bottle and this one is from Wichita Kansas which is pretty dang cool and the numbers there are 58 and 25 like I was saying in the video uh, and I messaged my buddy Brandon with Adventure Archaeology he let me know that this side right here is the date so it's a 1958 coke bottle so that's pretty cool a little bit older than those sodas over there and I got this right here the ER Durkee it's really hard to see right now ER Durkee and Co from New York salad dressing or mustard stuff like that from the 1920s 1930s era somewhere around there uh, so that's pretty cool I was very very happy with that 
And then over right here, I didn't even get this one on camera. I found it as it was getting kind of dark. Um, but this is actually a early 1920s or before 1920s beer. So the seam doesn't go all the way up to the top. And Brandon also helped me with this one as well. I sent him a photo there of the AB. So it's an AB beer. Um, unfortunately not embossed, but I think it's still pretty cool. I like the glass. It's pretty and it's old. So heck yeah, I will take it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Let me know if you want to see more videos at this location. I'm probably going to have to wait until it rains a little bit to come back for things to wash out a little bit more. But I'm finding cool stuff, so I'm excited to get back there and check it out. Hopefully you all want to see more as well too. And I'll see you in the next video.